guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a requested video for you. My dear friend Belinda Jess requested to see the multicolor GM pochette and what fits inside of this, how you can carry it as a clutch. So we will be going over that. I also want to show you the PM size just for basis of comparison in case this size fits your needs a little bit better. So we'll start with the GM can see, and I, I will try to be brief because I know I did touch on this in my previous video, um, you can see that this has the um, Vachetta trim with the pocket in the front, very spacious, the trim all around the bottom of the sides, and this is the back, the interior, okay. and I want to compare this to the regular pochette. So this is just my monogram. You can see the size comparison. They are rather similar. I'll hold them together. Extremely similar in size from the side. Now the main difference here is you can see the monogram is wider, but the multicolor is actually a little bit taller. So the big place where you lose some size here. Um, when you're carrying this as a clutch, the main thing you have to do is downsize your wallet. And these are very subtle things, but there are two things as to why you cannot put a full size wallet in here. So let me show you these. So the first reason, as you can probably see, the multicolor pochette has a rounded bottom, where the regular pochette is almost more of a squared bottom. The second and probably the biggest point is if you look at the zipper, the multicolor zipper is very generous, goes all the way down. However, your regular pochette has this little bit of extension here. That is actually where you gain a lot of space that you can put a full size wallet in there. Your opening is a little bit larger. So this is the size comparison with these two. Now the PM size, is most comparable to your mini pochette. And it's very neat because this is actually a clay, as you can see here, but it's almost like a jumbo clay. So here are these two. I'll show you the size comparison. Very similar. Again, the monogram is wider. And I think all in all, the monogram is a touch bigger, but you can barely tell the difference. They are very, very similar. So we'll start with this just to show you what fits inside of here and kind of the sacrifice you have to make switching from your mini pochette to this little guy. So I'll first show you what I have inside my mini pochette. Okay. Now opening this guy up. So quickly show you my gum and my mints. antibacterial. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So you kind of have to shove that in there, okay? Now, there's my perfume. So as you can see, they're in there, but this would not be able to be zipped. If I took the perfume out, I can zip it. However, it gets a little deformed and the zipper is pushed. So that rounded bottom there is really what takes the size away from this item. Now, the GM size. So I'll show you what fits inside of here. Now first and foremost, the best thing about this is this pocket in the front. This is an iPhone 5. And you can see I do have a case on here. I'm going to slip this down in here. You have to turn it just so, and the main reason is because I have a case on here, otherwise it would go in there absolutely perfectly. So there it is, zipped, absolutely no problem. So now we have the inside. Let's see if I have a little dust in there. Okay, so what fits inside of here? As I had said, the big thing you want to do is downsize your wallet, so for this sake I have my multicolor card holder. So we'll put that down in here. I have to tell you, I do not have a zippy coin purse yet. It is on my wish list, but that is probably an absolutely perfect item for this. So if you have one, 
this would really work well. Okay, so there's the card case. Now let's say I want to take my clay. Uh, currently I have some cards in here. You can have your cards or your keys. As you can see, perfect. Zips up, absolutely no problem. So there's option number one for you. You have your phone, you have your clay, and your card case. So let's just say you have your cards and your keys, your phone, you're good to go. And there's obviously space in here that you could put a lip gloss. This is great. Okay. Now, let's take the clay out. Let's just say that you have your, your key holder. As you can see, mine is pretty thick here. I do, you saw my what's in my bag, I do have uh, a lot of things in here. So let's put that down inside. So you can see it really is bulking out there, but it closes. So there's your keys, your phone, and your cards. Okay, now let's say, take our key out. Let's take a little coin purse along. Put that down inside of there. Okay, absolutely no problem. Now, let's see if we can take our clay along. See, our keys are in here. Shove that down in there. Okay. Still closes up. Absolutely wonderful. Now let's try, finally, and I think I know the answer to this. Um, as you can see, you really have to watch how far down do this with care here so I don't damage anything. You just have to make sure your items are kind of pushed down uh, before you close the zipper. And I can already tell you, so this would not fit inside of here. If you had the four key holder, that may work. And considering I have the bulky car key inside of here, that's probably where I'm losing some space. But this is perfect. If you're willing to downsize your wallet, it's your wallet for the night. So you did your, your coins and um, some cash in there. And you have your keys inside of here. And last but not least, your phone. So all of your evening essentials right inside of here. It's a clutch. You're good to go. So this piece is wonderful. I do highly recommend it. I hope this was helpful. Belinda Just, thank you so much for the request. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe below. I'm always looking for feedback and further requests. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'll put the information down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.